Hey guys, in this tutorial we will use Bootstrap to make our website look pretty. Bootstrap is one of the most popular HTML and CSS frameworks for developing beautiful website. So just go to getbootstrap.com and we will use version 4 which is being the latest version of the Bootstrap in the main website of the bootstrap.com. Just hit the download button appeared here. Bootstrap will allow us to either you can use source files in your computer or you can use bootstrap cdn here the source files are here or you can use bootstrap cdn which is a content delivery network which allows you to deliver cached version of bootstraps compiled css and js to your project here is the content that we need to copy and paste in the head section of the post list view just copy to the copy this to the clipboard and paste it in the HTML file which is the post list .html inside the head tag easy enough bootstrap cdn just points to files that exist on the internet so just go ahead and open the website and refresh the page you will see there is a change in the page that means bootstrap is working just fine there, uh, see the look and feel of the website is now changed now let's talk about the documentation of the bootstrap here go to the documentation page if you go through the documentation you will know how to use the bootstrap or uh, what parts of the bootstrap you will use you can use uh, you go to the content section we'll have pre-compiled bootstrap classes like here and if you go to the <coughs> layout here we talk about containers containers are the most basic layout element in bootstrap and are required when using our default grid system see this is the content section then the right navigation bar we we can use the container class like so we can use dot container fluid for a full width container spanning the entire width of the viewport like this there then there are responsive breakouts if we go to the grid here how grid system is the most powerful mobile first platform grid to build layouts of all shapes and sizes thanks to a 12 column system five default responses tiers how it works bootstrap grid system uses a series of containers rows and columns to lay out and align content so how can we use it like so the above example here creates three equal width columns like call sm then the class call sm then the class call sm like this three equal columns on small medium large and extra large devices using our predefined grid classes those columns are centered in the page with the parent dot container class appear here you can use the grid options here like call sm for small screen sizes call md for medium screen sizes call lg for large screen sizes and call xl for extra large screen sizes so containers provide to means to center and horizontally pad your site's content use dot container for responsive pixel width or dot container fluid for width 100% across all views and posts rows are wrappers for columns like here are wrappers for columns we have defined here each column has horizontal padding, padding called a gutter for controlling the space between them <clears throat> In a grid layout, content must, content must be placed within columns and only columns may be immediate children of rows. Then, column classes indicate the number of columns you would like to use out of the possible 12 per row. Each row contains only 12 rows. Uh, for creating columns, you need to add those columns up to 12. So, if you want 3 equal width columns across, you can use call for 3 times. For three equal width columns then if we have a look at the component section of the grid we can use we can have various components can be used in our project like alerts uh, which provides contextual feedback message for typical user actions with the handful of available and flexible alert messages like this this is a primary alert we can use it by using by uh, defining the class as alert alert primary and the role will be alert then the primary alert should be up, should appear like this then the badge itself this is the badge 
डॉक्यूमेंटेशन एग्जाम्पल्स फॉर वेजेस वेजेस केस टू मैच द साइज ऑफ एन इमीडिएट पेरेंट एलिमेंट बाई यूजिंग रिलेटिव ऑन साइजिंग एंड ई एम यूनिट्स दिस इज द बैज दैट वी कैन यूज इन अवर ड्रॉप डाउन नेविगेशन मेन्यू देन वी हैव बटन्स ब्रेड क्रम्स बटन्स वी कैन स्टाइल द बटन्स बाई डिफाइनिंग द क्लास बी टी एन बी टी एन प्राइमरी इन अवर बटन टाइप then we can be used collapse drop downs forms tables nav bar we'll use nav bar like this we have nav bar brand nav bar like this we can be able to search or to the post so if you are confused here you can go through the documentation of the bootstrap in the main site which is the getbootstrap.com docs version 4.0 components navba uh, in the component section you can uh, have the whole lot components available to be used in the project so this is it guys if you are confused and uh, getting nothing uh, we will do it in action in the next video lecture so till then goodbye just wait for the